Hello everybody, this is part 2 of my top 145 Mario Kart tracks. Every track in this video is mediocre, and they are 131 to 117. And number 131, I used to think this track is amazing, but now it's a huge step back from what I used to think it is. This track is honestly very boring in my opinion but not as bad as Desert Halls. The music is pretty bland. Anyways, this course is just mediocre. It's a teeny tiny wee bit rubbish. It's half good, half rubbish. But this is mediocre, fairly mediocre. And what do you think 130 is? Number 130, this is a very, very frustrating track. Bowser's Castle 2 from Mario Kart, from Super Mario Kart. Most of the tracks in Super Mario Kart are just boring, and this one's no exception. This is very hard, very sharp, this is one of the hardest tracks in the Mario Kart series. And this music isn't really that good to fit in the track. This track is just bad. And I hate it. It's not, it's not bad. It's mediocre. But it's not a really good course in my opinion. The colours, the colour, um, and that dead end ruins it. Awful. 129 is Yoshi Falls. From Mario Kart DS, Yoshi Falls is a very short track. It would be in the last tier of most people's rankings. But anyways, this track isn't really that interesting. It used to be pretty, really interesting. I only used to play it on the Wii, and I even play it on the DS as well. Because on the Wii, I used to think this track is great. But though this track, not really that good in this version. 128 is N64 Toad's Turnpike. Toad's Turnpike. This is tracks. This sucks a little bit. But anyways, this is Toad's course. Why is Toad involved in this frustrating course? But anyways, this is a figure eight. And the, the, the figure eight makes it a bit nasty since figure eight circuit is one of the worst Mario Kart tracks of all time. Because some people have figure eight circuit as their number one least favorite track of all time. But this track is a bit like that, except that it's, um, a bit less annoying but this track is pretty bad it's pretty mediocre but still a pretty frustrating course number 127 Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Double Dash this is certainly mediocre in my opinion I know you're expecting it to be at 14 or 16 but I do actually find this track pretty I do actually find this track kind of mediocre in my opinion the music really fits in the music is one of the best Mario Kart circuit themes ever composed and the music makes the track kind of fun but this track is mediocre what does that map look like? It looks like something weird. So number 126. Vanilla Lake 1. I mean, Vanilla Lake 2. Vanilla Lake 2 is very frustrating and it's so annoying. This is one of the worst tracks in Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart, I mean. 
but this track is mediocre. Definitely one of my least favorites in Super Mario Kart. And as I say, the compl another complaint, the track is way too short. And number 125, Vanilla Lake 1. This was basically a tie. Vanilla Lake 1 is more frustrating. As I see, Vanilla Lake 1 and Vanilla Lake 2 are both mediocre tracks. Not really good. And those ice blocks can get very, very annoying. This track is just really, really annoying. Very annoying. This, but that part of the music went like <laughs> That is the thing that makes Vanilla Lake a bit mediocre. But this track, really far from being my favorite in Mario and Super Mario Kart. 124, Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Super Circuit. This is the funnest Luigi Circuit. This course, pretty mediocre. And the thing that's annoying about this track, well, it's raining. And the only thing fun about this track is that the track design is... Um, uh, a dog! Woof, 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 woof. Well, the formed dog anyway. A deformed dog. Whiff whiff. Um, but the rain is just annoying making it be. And they've made it a bit, a tiny bit better in Mario Kart DS. This course is kind of frustrating. Number 123, our first Mario Kart 7 track. Toad Circuit. Toad Circuit is pretty mediocre but actually kind of bland in my opinion but still this track is nowhere near as great as Yoshi Circuit Yoshi Circuit is so much fun but this track is far from being my favorite circuit track the music fits in pretty well and it's shared with Mario Circuit from this game, but I do actually kind of like that track. 122. Sherbet Land from Mario Kart DD. Double Dash on the GameCube. They've already got a Sherbet Land from Mario Kart 64. A couple of Sherbet Lands, but this one is a little bit better. Mediocre. And I like the map, and the music is kind of catchy. Actually, actually pretty catchy at some at times. Because I like the music a lot, especially in the remake. I've only played it on the Wii, on the Switch, and on the Switch it was quite fun. But and if you um and if you crash into those ice blocks. You will turn into a giant ice cube. And in the remake you can even go into the water. And there's an ultra shortcut in the to the cave. Number 121. Mario Circuit 1. Mario Circuit 1 was before one of my least favourite tracks of all time. And um, now it's turned, it's actually kind of fun in the DS version. But Mario Kart DS just didn't really pick the best retro tracks. But some of those were amazing. But this course is actually kind of bland in my opinion. The music fits in pretty well. But still, it's a mediocre track in my opinion. It's the track that started it all, and I think that's all I have to say. Um, 120. Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 8. Another Mario Circuit. Before it was Mario Circuit 1, but now we're to Mario Circuit. 
single Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 8. Definitely one of my least favourite tracks in Mario Kart 8. But and I and I like that that you can go around this um eight six times a couple times in a lap. Nintendo could do and um, then this is a magic trick that Nintendo tried to do on about this track. Pretty fun making this track. And I like the Peach's Castle and you can even go upside down during the other um during the other lap and during the other half the lap. Number 119 is Mario Circuit from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Another Mario Circuit. Now, this one is certainly mediocre. Before it was a good Mario Circuit, but definitely um, not one of my favorite Mario Circuits, but it does actually look kind of interesting. The music is pretty interesting and it's shared with Luigi Circuit and Peach Circuit. But, anyways, this course is pretty mediocre. And the music is mostly interesting, as I said a couple of times now. And I like the trees looking. Okay. And I like them up, and I like that shortcut. Number 118. The final Mario Circuit in this entire video. And it is Mario Circuit in the Wii. This is a figure 8. See that right here is a, it's a bit more clunkier on, um, on that side of the map. And it's the only Wii track in this video. So, as I wanted to say about this track, it's certainly mediocre, but it is one of my least favourite tracks in Mario Kart Wii. So, anyways, this track is pretty mediocre, and the music is quite fun, and I like the Peach's Castle. Most Mario circuits have Peach, a Peach's Castle. And the Mario Kart 7 one, you can drive in Peach's Castle. The only problem with this track is the Chain Chomp. And 117. The final track in this video is Donut Plains 1. From Super Mario Kart. Now, this one is, a, is actually the same thing in Mario Kart DS. Except that they've ruined it a bit in that version. But still, it's a it's a bland track in my opinion. So anyways this track is fairly this track is fairly mediocre. Really mediocre. So anyways this track is just mediocre and I think that's it for this video see you see you tomorrow for some more Mario Kart topic so and that lake that's always in these free donut planes is but this is my least favorite donut planes donut planes free is higher it's decent but Donut Planes 2 is much higher than Donut Planes 3. But I think that's it for the video. See you all next time.